three spring practices in the books here for Liberty Football. Here to tell us more about it is head coach Turner Gill. And, Coach, how did last week go? Everything was smooth. Uh, it was good to get our guys out there. We uh, banged around a little bit there, particularly on Saturday, and uh, got some inside drills and get our offensive line and D-line there moving around, being a little bit more physical. And uh, so it was good. Good workout. And uh, I, I like what our coaches are doing to our players. I like the way our players are coming out ready to play. Walking around the FOC, see some reminders of last year, some new pictures up uh, to show the kids, hey, this is what it's all about. Always good to have those constant reminders of winning football games. Well, just showing their work, what they've done and all that, and accomplishment that uh, our whole football program has done for many, many years and been very successful here as far as winning conference championship. And obviously last year was able to get a win into the, uh, the playoffs. And it's good just to show everybody around. And, uh, you know, we're still not satisfied. Coach, we talked last week about some of the, the voids you need to fill. And, again, it's still early in the process. But at center, who are you looking at? Uh, how's that position looking right now? Yeah, we got uh, Grant Jones is one guy we're looking at there. And Richard Queen. Richard Queen is a guy who really uh, a transfer from University of Massachusetts. We had recruited him out of high school. He decided to go to University of Massachusetts at that time and uh, wanted to transfer here. I guess all of his uh, brothers and sisters there all have gone to school here in the – the dad wanted everybody here to be here at this school. Uh, he also has a younger brother down in the future, too, we'll be checking out. But uh, those two guys are the main people. We also, uh, Lucas Holder is also playing to some center two four. So, again, it's all a, a good race right now. Grant Jones is getting the majority of the reps with our first group, per se. Uh, but, again, we'll be moving back and forth as forward for the rest of the spring. Yeah, you make it, mentioned Lucas. He was one of the <coughs> snappers on the team a year ago. And, you look at the wide receiver position, one that is uh, chock full of some great talent, but one position, the slot receiver. Gabe Henderson no longer with the program, so uh, who are you looking to fill there, and uh, how's that going? Well, yeah, we got a lot of guys. Uh, you know, it's about four or five guys there that we're looking at there, and, uh, you know, we got Dakota Kelly is the guy that we're looking at. Um, you know, we got um, – I can I got a whole list of them, so I'm probably going to leave out some guys. All I can say is probably we got a list of guys that we're looking at, and I think a lot of those guys are going to be very competitive, and Coach Taylor going to have somebody ready to go. And we play, uh, you know, one or two different guys, so we'll just see what happens, and uh, it's a battle, and we'll we'll uh, evaluate every week. You speak of competition, never too early for the guys to start uh, battling each other because you're going to look at the film each and every day to see what those guys are doing, right? Well, every day, every day they're getting graded, and uh, we're looking at all the things they do from their assignment. Do they play with a passion? Actually, do they even walk in the room uh, with, with a little bit of passion as far as trying to uh, – in meeting rooms, we talk about passion, just not necessarily uh, going out on the football field and yelling or scream or nothing like that. It's coming here, uh, you're attuned to your coaches or you're paying attention to detail in your meetings and, and doing all those things of that nature. So I think those are the things that we're looking for. We also – are they finishing? Are they finishing every play in the best way that they can? And, but, again, they grade in every play, and so uh, we put it up in front of the locker room everybody sees it and and uh, so uh they you know sometimes some guys get a little bit embarrassed by seeing some of their numbers and and uh, it is what it is uh, it, it is about it. we as a team and it's about you being able to compete and, and being able to be competitive you no know, coach bills had uh, most of the guys during the winter workouts but what's it like to be back out there with them coaching and uh, instruct them up well, I think it's exciting. Uh, it's always good to be around our players. Again, they're all of my, my sons. It's kind of what I tell them every once in a while that, uh, you know, you're our, our sons and, and our coaching staff look at it that way. And we want you guys to improve from last year. There's no guarantees about anything. You might start out as being a first-team guy, but uh, we will play uh, an underclassman uh, if he shows that he deserves it and he has earned it because uh, we love competition. And uh, so we always tell them we're always looking for somebody better than you are. Another position that's uh, very stocked right now is at running back. You get Des Rice back. How has uh, he looked so far? Des is, uh, you know, a little bit rusty uh, as far as going through some of the things there at this point in time. But uh, glad to see him out there. He's running around. He has, has um, no issues whatsoever. And, and so it's glad to be him around. DJ Abner there has been good. And Todd Macon there has been doing all some good things. And Carrington Mosley and uh, Austin Kegler. So uh, we've got a solid group of uh, running backs there on our football team. Now you enter week two of spring practice. So what's week two going to be like for you guys? Well, week two we'll get more and a little bit more specific as far as um, probably go a little bit more some goal line things of that nature, get in the red zone, working on our uh, run game and pass game, and also on defense, uh, protecting the run game and the pass game inside the red zone. So we'll get into more specific categories during a game that we need to work on and, and get more specific in that and see how we respond. All right, Coach, thanks for your update. We look forward to it. Thank you. That's head football coach Turner Gill. I'm Alan York for Liberty Flame Sports Network.